My name is Dameshri Naidu. I am from South Africa, from KwaZulu-Natal, and um, I work at the Center for Rural Health at the University of KwaZulu-Natal. Um, I'm a clinician by training and have um, uh, further trained as a public health medicine specialist. Um, I did the health policy and systems research course. Um, I chose to do the course because in my daily work as a project manager um, at our center, I encounter um, operational um, issues and uh, I'm on the ground with implementation of health system strengthening projects and saw the opportunity to build a research framework around that. Um, but I didn't really have the skill set to, um, to build a research framework around that. Uh, my expectation in doing this course was that uh, building on my public health medicine training, I would be able to see how um, I could fit together this interdisciplinary um, uh, method um, and bring that to a, a research portfolio. Uh, I wasn't very clear how to bring the different research methodologies and study designs in um, uh, to, to research the depth of these um, fields. Um, the concepts theories, um, for me, it um, two things come to mind is the researcher reflexivity which was a new term to me, um, and the critical role that that plays in uh, formulating your research question all the way through to the uh, analysis and presentation of results. Um, the other um, um, term that um, was new to me was um, analytic generalizability. And uh, for me, coming from an epidemiology training, I was very comfortable with what we meant by generalizability in that context. And uh, had many questions about how qualitative work or research of a multidisciplinary nature could make meaning in a larger sense. So I come to the end of the week understanding the concept of analytic generalizability, the concept of being able to draw inference from theories both in, um, in conceptualizing projects as well as in the analytic phase. So that for me has been a great um, learning and it is practically very applicable in my work setting because I now have a clearer idea of how I can take these research questions that we generate on the ground from our implementation work, um, the research problems really that we find, and then how I can um, tease out that problem to come up with appropriate questions uh, to influence policy in this field. Um, most interesting and interesting and challenging at the same time for me was working in these diverse groups uh, that we worked in. Um, the, in the teaching and learning process, I found the practical nature of the course very useful in actually developing a protocol in a group, coming up with questions, uh, our own questions, our own protocols, um, and working with the real life experience that the different group members brought to the table. Um, that for me was very, very valuable because I felt it was very practical and coming to the end of the week, I feel quite prepared to go back to my work environment and begin to put together ideas to perhaps put uh, research uh, proposals together. Um, so that's um, definitely what I will take home with me. In terms of teaching and learning processes and what I could use in my work setting, I think um, being involved with the MPH program at uh, UKZN, this practical nature and the flow of the coursework over the week 
uh, was something very valuable that can be taken back to use in our teaching of postgraduate students. Um, the questions um, I still have, um, I think that I would like to probably explore more now how to take this back into my setting and um, practically utilize the skills that, um, that I have um, learnt in the, in the setting. And I think one of the challenges is um, being able to network and uh, bring in the appropriate stakeholders um, into play to um, to do the type of work that um, that I think is important and to answer the relevant research questions.